Welcome to this walkthrough of BFD Player from BFD Drums. This walkthrough will cover six main sections of BFD Player and will begin with a brief overview of the BFD Player interface. Across the top of the interface, from left to right, we have the kit view. We can use this to visualize what the kit looks like and to preview samples by playing them in the center. Then we have the mixer. We can use this to take control of each element of the drum kit as well as bus processing. To the right of this we have the grooves menu and this is where we can find a lot of different grooves that we can load into our door session or preview here inside of the groove menu. Then finally across the top bar we have our main output gain. In the bottom left we have our preferences menu and we can select this to change things like our sample and buffer rate, our I.O as well as our MIDI input so we can perform the kits. To the right of the Preferences menu, we have our Expansion Exploration. I can use this to explore new sounds that we can add to BFD Player. And lastly, we have MIDI Panic, which will stop all MIDI notes from playing. In both kit and mixer views, the left side of the window shows a browser with all of the installed content packs. Click a content pack name to open the list of presets for that pack. When the cursor hovers over a preset, an audition preview icon will appear to the left of the preset name. Click the play button to start previewing it, and click the stop icon that appears while playing to stop the preview. A bar below the preset name will show the playhead progress throughout the length of the preview. Hover your cursor over the information icon next to the preset name for a short description of each preset. Double click a preset name to load the selected preset. You can also use these buttons to move between the previous or next preset in the list. Using the drop down menu we can explore the library's engine. Keymap selects a preset mapping based on a number of popular MIDI and drum controllers. Profile determines the amount of detail loaded within the preset. Higher detail levels require more processing. If your computer is having difficulty with loading or playing presets, try reducing the detail level for better performance. Perspective adjusts the panning of the drums to be from the perspective of the drummer or the audience. Use the scale menu to adjust the plugin window to a new size. In kit view, you can see the fully detailed 3D model drum kits that have been emulated in each content pack preset. The drums are selectable and interactable. The kit piece browser allows you to browse, filter and load kit pieces from all of your collections. To open the kit piece browser, select a kit piece in the kit view and then click the up arrow above the kit piece information bar. Here we can expand filters and select menus depending on what we're looking for. Each time a new kit piece is selected, a sample will play so you can preview that kit piece. As we can see on the right hand side we have more information about the name, size, materials and the version and library of this kit piece. Once you've selected a kit piece, click the load button to load this into your kit. In the mixer view, you can tweak the sound of each preset to your desire by adjusting the included effects or mixer parameters, such as levels, panning, muting and soloing, and output routing. Across the top here, we have four macro controls that will adjust settings specific to the selected preset. Turn each knob to adjust its settings. Hover your cursor over the information icon for a short description of the macro. There are three main types of channel strips in BFD Player. Drum channels for individual kit pieces, aux channels where multiple drum channels are bussed together, ambient channels for an ambient microphone channel, and lastly, our main fader. Click anywhere on a channel to select it. The selected channel will be highlighted. You can also select multiple channels to manipulate their controls simultaneously by selecting Control and click on Windows or Command and click on Mac OS. On the main channel, select the gear icon to preview the auto assigned settings. These settings can be used to quickly reroute the channels to a selected output. 
auto assign channels to the main routes all of the channels to the main output. Sequential routing routes each kit piece to an individual output in sequential order. This is most useful in a door where you can add extra processing to the sound. Above each channel we have a kit piece display. If the kit piece is a drum or a cymbal, you can click the picture to trigger it. Below this icon we have our pan fader where we can choose to pan either left, right or centre of the image. By holding Alt and click, we can quickly put pan and fader controls to zero. To adjust the channel gain, simply pull or push the desired fader. Lastly, to mute or solo a channel, we can do so on the bottom of its fader. The Grooves view allows us to browse preset rhythmic patterns that can be used to audition presets or pieces together for an entire song. All installed grooves will be shown in the grooves list in the main body of the window. Grooves can be sorted in ascending or descending order of each of the following columns by clicking the arrow icon in the column headers. At the top of the groove names, we can search for a type of groove that we might be looking for. We can then drag and drop this groove into our doors timeline. To the right of the groove name menu, we have the leading hand menu, and this tells us the kit piece that is being played by the leading hand of the groove. We have a bar menu, which tells us how long each groove plays for, time signatures, BPM, as well as a favourites column where we can select our favourite grooves. We can filter the grooves even further across this top bar. We can select if we want fill or no fill, the library that we want to select, here you can see I have the BFD core library the genre that we're choosing, the leading hand, timing, dynamics, focus, feel, and favorites. By using these options, we can refine our search further and get the sound much quicker. Finally, in the bottom left-hand corner, in the settings menu, we have a content menu. The content menu allows us to manage our content packs. We can relocate content packs, such as moving them to an external drive, or we can manually add packs installed while BFD Player is open. Clicking Add will allow us to browse our computer or connected drives for BFD content expansion packs. The following update is new for BFD Player as of version 1.2. As you can see, at the bottom of the UI, we now have a drag and drop song creator, as well as a transport control section. If we head over to the Groove tab, we can drag and drop different sections into the timeline to create our own arrangement, just like this. We can also trim sections and subsequently build up our arrangement in this editor. If we right click on a groove name in the timeline editor, we have multiple options. We can rename a section, we can delete a section, we can copy a section, and then paste it further along in the timeline. We can duplicate a part, and we can split a part where the cursor head is on the timeline. If you need a better view of the timeline, you can zoom in in the bottom right hand corner with plus and minus controls. You can also zoom out to see the full arrangement. The timeline controls allow us to move around the timeline, stop, play, and loop a section, as well as control different time signatures, BPM, and alter our location within the timeline. There's also a panic button, which will stop the play of the arrangement if there is a problem. It's worth noting that the transport controls won't respond to keystrokes, only the use of a mouse. When using BFD Player as a plugin inside of your DAW, the time signature and tempo are set by that DAW's clock. You can also drag and drop an entire song's arrangement from the timeline into your DAW.